Welcome, beautiful people. Kustik here, and today I'm going to be sharing my tips and tricks for planet exploration in Starfield. Let's get going. Okay, now, first thing first, you arrive at a new planet you haven't discovered yet, and uh, the first thing you have to do is... Um, I'm sorry, uh, incoming call from Free Star Renegade, okay? Shipart, uh, asteroid, and that's bad. I'm afraid I don't have enough parts. Um, sorry. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have enough. Sorry. I hope they will. <laughs> I hope they will be just fine. Now back to the planet exploration, I guess. So, first thing first, you have to scan the planet with the R button. You have to press and uh, hold it for some time. Um, if you're playing on uh, gamepad, it will be a different button for you. Um, yeah, and as you can see, we now can see the resources: is copper, water. Uh, uranium and I think it's chlorine uh, but if you would take a look on the left side you uh, just can see the uh, uncommon I mean common resources on the planet and those resources with the uh, uh, dots on the right top side you cannot see them uh, in order to see them you need to uh, get that wait what happened <laughs> oh no their ship broke wait I, I just gotta I gotta load them a, uh, a real fast yeah let's go yeah, that, that's why I love Starfield so much, man. It is so fun. So uh, a lot of random stuff going on, and uh, it just keeps me entertaining all the time. Uh, the head ship parts, by the way. Okay. Uh, in order to see the rare resources, uncommon resources, unique resources, and uh, other resources, you have to get a perk, uh, and it's called scanning. Uh, as you can see, while anyone can use a ship scanner, it takes a specialty. Specially trained operator to detect hard to find planetary resources or uncover the details of nearby ships. On rank 1, you can detect uncommon inorganic resources. On rank 2, you can detect uh, rare organic resources. On rank 3, you can detect exotic inorganic resources. And on rank 4, you can detect unique organic resources. Uh, yeah, I got two skill points to share. Maybe I will take this one just to show you. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at the uh, star map first. Okay, uh, let's take a look at star map. Um, mm -hmm, Show resources. As you can see, there's copper, water, uranium, and chlorine, and nothing else. And now I'm gonna spend the point in the scanning perk. Okay, I got rank one uh, scanning perk, and now I would be able to scan and common inorganic resources on planets. Uh, as you can see, button on the left side changed. Now I can press R for new data. Let's do this. And as you can see, I got new patches uh, on the on the planet. It's iridium and it's uh, something else. So basically now I see uncommon resources, which is resources with uh, one dot in the right, uh, top right side uh, of resource. Okay, let's pick, a, let's pick a spot to land. Oh, and by the way, uh, as you can see, uh, planets have different bi biomes, such as Conferous forest right here, and um, it should be frozen plains. Yeah, so yeah, let's pick a spot and land. So we've landed on the planet. We should exit the ship, and the first thing is to pull out our scanner. Let's do this. Okay, uh, in my case, it's letter F. Okay, and now on the left side, you can see a survey a progression chart, uh, which has uh, fauna, which are animals, pretty much. Uh, it has flora, which is plants, pretty much, and resources. There are also two planet uncommon perks, which we will discover a bit later. Now, I'm not sure if you know, but if you point your uh, crosshair on some unknown stuff on the horizon and press scan, you can uh, get information about what kind of building or what kind of the point of interest this is. Okay, and now let's scan some resources. You can do this with scan, yeah, like this one. And you can actually drill them with your cutter. Uh, to pull out your cutter, you just have to press uh, left mouse button or attack button uh, on your gamepad. Uh, while you're in scanner, you don't have to actually uh, bind it to your quick access wheel. Uh, this one, you don't have to do this. You have to just press F and uh, left mouse button. And uh, actually, to um, survey the resources, you don't have to scan them. You can just uh, drill them 
and uh, they will be added to your inventory and they will be also surveyed as you see two out of eight uh, you can also press right mouse button to like quicken the process of drilling yeah like this one uh, but I prefer clicking left and right button at the same time. It's kind of faster, in my opinion, but uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but you can drill all the resources. Uh, for example, chlorine here, uh, it is a gas, so you can drill them, as you can see. Uh, but you have to uh, just scan it. Okay, now let's go and find some more resources to scan. Yeah, another great way to find a lot of resources is actually uh, caves. They could be occupied and they could be unoccupied. If they are occupied, there are usually like some miners and you can loot some uh, goodies from them, from their stashes, from their boxes, from their whatever. Uh, and if the cave is not occupied, there are usually some rare resources inside of it. But you pretty much just go inside, uh, find for everything you would like to know, like scan the walls with your scanner, um, drill the resources that you would like to get and just basically look for some stuff. When you get some uh, great stuff, like uh, here, uh, in this box, uh, you pretty much would know that the cave is explored. There is no indicator of it, but that's pretty much means that uh, you have got everything out of this uh, cave, so you can get out of here. In the unoccupied caves case, there are usually some rare resources over there. So if you drill them and explore them, that's pretty much means that cave is explored and you can get out of there. Now, I finally found some fauna in this uh, frozen fields. So let's scan it. And with animals, it works pretty much like with the... Or you can just kill them and it will count towards sc uh, scanning the species. So as you can see, I killed one and my progress uh, increased by 12.5%. But I don't like to kill those cuties. They're too nice, actually. <laughs> I will scan them. <laughs> okay, uh, I, I see the last one. Let's kill him. Like finish the um, discovery of the species right here. Let's loot him. Now, as you can see, Fauna also says uh, biome complete, which means I can go to another. Uh, location because I will not find any more uh, fauna or flora to discover in this region. So let's do this. Oh, but before we go to another region, uh, I should show you real fast uh, how usually like planets uh, features are usually uh, looks like. So in this case, we found some fungi or I'm not sure what is it. Uh, let's scan it. Okay, most living things in the local ecosystem show signs of something. I'm not sure, of prolonged infection. So disease biosphere. So this planet perk is disease biosphere uh, and it should have another one. We will find it later, I guess. Uh, but now let's go to another biome, like I said before. Now um, we have arrived in another region, another biome. Uh, hey, hello. Thank you so much. Yeah, I've slept really well. Thank you. Uh, okay, so let's scan some some plants, I guess. Oh, I see one over there. Uh, so uh, scanning the plants works like the animals or like the uh, resources, actually. Uh, you can either scan them or you can come close to them and harvest them and it will both uh, count towards the surveying progress. Yeah, so there was nothing interesting in this other region on this planet. So I'm currently on another biome on the same planet and I'm scanning some plants. Now, nice, three out of four. Uh, and you just scan one more plant, I guess. Uh, but I'm doing all of this on my way to the, uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, another planet perk, another planet uncommon feature. Uh, yeah, let's go towards, uh, towards this. Oh yeah, unexplored chemistry feature, location discovered. So let's scan this. What do we have here? Fungal grotto, and don't sp a dense spore cloud leaves Mind-altering residue on plants and rocks. Okay, looks creepy. I don't want to stay here for too long, so yeah. Let's go and find uh, the last plant that we haven't scanned yet. Finally, there it is. Let's scan it. Nice, 100% scanned. Biome complete, biome complete. Let's go. We have to find two more uh, animals somewhere, two animal species somewhere. Let's see. Okay, frozen plants, 100%. 
volcanic 100%, ocean we can't land here, coniferous forest 100%. I guess we have to find other two species in the ocean somehow, but you cannot land in the ocean, obviously. Uh, so we have to land somewhere on the shore. Uh, let's find a spot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as you can see, a uh, volcanic coast. Mm, that's just volcanic. Yeah, volcanic coast. Let's go over there. Yeah, we're finally on the coast and we see some fishes here or whatever it is. Pack pedal fish. I'm not sure what is it, but let's scan it. It's uh, it's defensive, it says. Okay, let's let's not <laughs> let, let's not get close to it then. Um okay, um yeah, let's scan those thingies. Okay, now we almost finished. Four out of five fauna and we have one more. Nice. Planet is finally surveyed, 100%, uh, with a beautiful banner on the left side, as you can see. Uh, now let's go to inventory, and as you can see, we now have like Jaffa 3 survey data in our inventory. And what we can do with it is actually we can uh, sell it to a couple of places. First of all is Vladimir on the eye, and the second is this guy. Uh, he is present in almost every spaceport like cafe. Uh, so you can find them and he is interested in planet survey data, mostly habitable ones. So we can sell him and get 300 credits. Let's go. Another thing that I would like to share with you is uh, you can actually find some of those buildings uh, on planets. Uh, it usually looks like this. And uh, if you press F on your uh, to pull up your scanner, you can see this is a structure with this icon uh, over here. So you have to go up there uh, and you will see that it is abandoned research tower. Uh, I click save. Uh, so you can go right here, press button right here, go inside, press another buttons. Yeah, go to the elevator and go all the way upstairs. There are usually a lot of bad guys, but you kill them. You get to go to this computer. You should open doors. Uh, yeah. And then you go outside of this building, outside of this room, drop downstairs. Drop downstairs, where is it? Okay, ah, uh, yeah. So there is a sample vault, so you go inside, there will be a computer again. And as you can see, I now have 43% of survey data. Um, so let's use this computer. Uh, as you can see, download collected planet data. You can click it and data for psychotropic biota downloaded. And let's check our scanner. Now it has 47%. Uh, it's actually random. You can get like up to 100% survey data with this computer, actually. And there are also some good loot in this room. So loot it and just run away. And another tip that I wanted to share with you today is actually for their outpost building. It is uh, like how to choose the best spot for your outpost on the planets. Maybe if you want to collect more resources. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and place uh, outpost here. Um, R, R, yeah. Okay, as you can see in the top left corner, we uh, have available resources in the spaces, ir iridium, uh, vanadium and water. So if we place our outpost here, we would be able to collect all of those resources from uh, just one outpost. And it's uh, really nice for us. Uh, we place the outpost uh, and as you can see on the right side, we have available three extractors for vanadium, water vapor and iridium. Uh, we can place vanadium one in this yellow patches on the ground here. If you choose iridium, we can like place them in other yellow patches over here. Uh, and water vapor, I think we can place pretty much everywhere or maybe just near the water. I'm not sure yet. So uh, it would be a great outpost place. Uh, you could, would be able to collect like water, iridium, uh, vanadium uh, and pretty much stock up your resources <laughs> thank you for watching i hope you learned something new happy gaming click the like button if you like the video leave a comment in the comment section below and please consider subscribing to this channel if you would like to see more videos like this one